Hello everyone, today I would like to share interesting information about life cycle assessment of disposable diapers. What is baby diapers? Baby diapers is designed to optimize baby's urine and feces reception, absorption and retention for baby's comfort. How long does babies depend on diapers? Babies, they are dependent on diapers at their first 2.5 years old. How many diapers does babies use per day? An average of 4.16 disposable diapers used per day. Does diapers has weight? Yes it has. The weight of an average disposable diapers is 33.3 grams. When does diapers start to produce? The history of disposable diapers start in year 1942, which diapers at that time was made from unbleached crepe cellulose tissue. During that time, people mostly used cloth diapers compared to disposable diapers. In year 1956, Victor Mills which are an engineer in Procter & Gamble, P&G, set a small-scale project to investigate about disposable diapers. The next year, P&G purchased Charmin Paper Company. They believe they can expand the disposable diapers market with absorbent paper products. In year 1961, P&G develop a two-piece diaper with a folded insert to improve absorbency and fit. This is to help keep moisture in the diaper. The product named with Pampers and launch in Peoria, Illinois. In 1964, Pampers launched new design. P&G developed new design which has small size compared to before and sold with 6 cent. At that time, Pampers was sold out in a short time. In 1968, other manufacturer which are Kimberly Clark introduced their disposable diapers after a few years worked on disposable diapers. They name their product with Kimbys. In year 1971 and above, many companies started to introduce new design and new brand in diapers production. Type of diapers There are several type of diapers such as disposable diapers, pull-up diapers, disposable underwear, cloth diapers, pocket diapers, fitted or contour diapers, disposable diapers, an absorbent pad sandwiched between two sheets of non-woven fabric that contains of chemical crystals. The chemical crystals will make baby's back dry for a long time. Pull-ups A disposable diapers that look like regular underwear. This type of diapers is designed to make people's affair easier for cleaning process. Disposable underwear Designed to keep older children dry at night while sleeping to avoid leakage when they urinate. This also to train babies to potty by themselves. Cloth diapers. Made from absorbent fabrics which are from organic cotton cloth. This type of diaper is an eco-friendly product that can be recycled. Pocket diapers. Has cloth diapering system that are made of three completely different layers that has a waterproof system. Consist of a waterproof covering that includes a pocket into that you insert a folded diaper or a disposable or washable liner. Fitted or contour diapers. A diapers that has a narrow crotch and wide wings that wrap around a baby's waist. This will keep the diapers maintained at it places when babies move around and can absorb more fluid. There are also other diapers types such as pre-folded diapers, unfolded diapers, all-in-one diapers and others. Life cycle of disposable diapers start from raw material acquisition, manufacturing, distribution, use and end of life. During raw material acquisition, different type of non-woven fabric, elastic threads, absorbent core, waistband and leg elastics. Composite back sheet are used to produce a disposable diapers. In manufacturing stage, the raw material that are used for baby diapers are cut, shaped and bonded so that it will have a strong layer for absorption. There are various electrical equipment that are used during manufacturing process which include of heat sealers, vacuum system and motors. During manufacturing process, emission and waste was indirectly discharged to the environment. 
Next is distribution stage, in this stage the final product which is diapers is distributed from the manufacturing to the supermarket or customer by transportation. Use stage. The image beside show how to wear disposable diapers pull up. Last stage in life cycle is end of life stage. In this stage, the disposal diapers that has been used will be throw away from household. It either will go to landfills or incinerator. Environmental impact occur from disposable diapers. Global warming. The manufacturing of disposable diapers produce a large amount of carbon footprint. During manufacturing, large amount of electricity and water consumption is used to produce a disposable diapers. Beside that, the used diapers that end up in landfills will cause methane released from the disposable diapers to the air during the decomposition wastewater. The effluents that are discharged from the disposable diaper manufacturing process such as plastic, pulp and bleached paper will damage the environment because of chemical that contain in plastic, pulp and bleached paper. Air pollution. During the processes of production, use, distribution and disposal of diapers, harmful substances are released into the air. This harmful substances contribute to air pollution. Conclusion. Recommendation for Disposable Diapers, Recycling of Soiled Diapers The valuable fiber and plastics need to be transporting to a treatment plant for separation of recyclable component. The other of component can be used to innovate new product while the organic residues can discharge to convert into energy or to sewer for treatment, composting soiled diapers. It involves of shredding the plastics with the organic and biodegradable component. The shredded diapers then mixed with other organic wastes and left to compost in a composting unit. Incinerator with energy from waste, EFW. Some part of disposable diaper is made of plastics that are derived from petroleum. The energy generated in the incinerator can be used for electricity and or heat production for other purpose or use, at the same time it can reducing the use of non-renewable fuel. References there are several references that used by the presenter for this video. Thank you for watching. For more information, do visit us at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube channel to learn more about life cycle thinking and environmental management.